In this tutorial, let's discuss performing basic ECG measurements. Here's an ECG trace. Let's home in on about four beats using the double cursors. We'll zoom between them, and then we'll go over to the analysis window. The first thing, let's do a P wave amplitude. Take your cursor, put it on the flat portion before the P, the other one at the top of the P wave. That's 109 millivolts. To do a P wave duration, we just move our cursor to the other side of the P. That's 140 milliseconds. To do a QRS complex duration, move one cursor to the Q, the other one to the S, That's 52 milliseconds. Moving the cursor back over to the R, we can do an R wave amplitude. That's 1.042 volts. Now, to do a T wave duration, we move it over to one side of the T and the other side of the T. That's 200 milliseconds. And then moving the cursor to the top of the T, we can do a T wave amplitude. That's 167 millivolts. Moving the other cursor over to the other P, we can do a TP duration. That's 410 milliseconds. And then moving the cursors to both R's, we have an R to R interval. That's 826 milliseconds. So the student can fill out a table, add it to the report, and that's all there is to doing basic ECG measurements in LabScribe.